It's the Cubs and the Cardinals. First of a four game set. Cool look as the fans line up to come on in. The rivalry renewed. It's game time. It says the right on that kick shirt. Sure. They'll go up against Marcus Stroman. Mostly sinkers when he throws this fastball. Occasionally a four seamer. Slider, cutter, change up. 2.88 ERA. Numbers across the board. Outstanding for the veteran right hander. Good pitch. See you later. New bar frozen. Well, New bar is a very patient hitter, and this time he watches one come right through the uh, bottom of the zone on the outside corner. He didn't like it, but it was a quality pitch. It was a strike. Goldie, the MVP last year, numbers are good, but down from last season. Little chopper over the mound, charging hard. Morrell, he can't make the play, and there's the first break of the game. Goldschmidt reaches on an infield tapper. Now that'll be scored an infield hit. And that one caught as Wisdom ranging to his left able to make the play the man in the mustache and there's two down Arenado ninth in the league in hitting 10th in the league in homers second in RBIs runner goes pitch chopped toward third and under the glove of Wisdom that's into left field the Cardinals have him first and third here in the first inning couple of misplays by the Cubs infield defenders gives St. Louis an early inning chance. The Cardinals have a shot here with Contreras who has knocked in three runs against the Cubs and a chance to cash in a couple of mistakes. Swing and a shot into the left field corner. That's going to one hop off the Ivy. It's one nothing St. Louis. Contreras on his way to second. He's in safe for the double. The villain has returned with a vengeance. And Contreras hammers at 114 miles an hour off the bat. You could hear it. It was loud. Jumps all over that thing. Well, we'd love to see a great start from Steven Matz. Two starts ago, his first one back in the rotation against the White Sox. He was fantastic. High fly ball hit toward left. O'Neill's first chance, and he's got that easily. And there's out number one. Line drive center. Newt Bar drifting back, backpedaling still, and makes the catch. And there's out number two. Off the front slope of the mound and out to second. And Matt's a one, two, three first. An unearned run, the difference in our game so far. Well, he takes ball four. The eye looks good. And you know O'Neill can run. Let's see if he tries to take a bag here in the second inning. Little chopper hit toward third. Wisdom's going to go to second. Throws it into right field. And O'Neill's going to make his way to third. Two errors on Wisdom in as many innings. And the Cardinals again have a huge break. First and third with one out. Well, you mentioned the speed of Tyler O'Neill. And I think that that speed element is really what forced this throw by Patrick Wisdom. He knew he had to hurry it up and ends up sailing this thing into right field. Stroman's had a terrific major league career, but he has not enjoyed facing the Cardinals. He's 0 4 against them head to head with an ERA over six so two walks in the inning and now St. Louis really has a chance O'Neill 90 feet away to young at second Newt Bar at first and Goldie the reigning MVP a chance to put up a crooked number bases loaded here comes the 1 1 Goldschmidt grounds one softly to short fielded by Horner the flip to Morell at second throw to first in time double play and the Cubs get out of the jam middle two at Wrigley that was pitch number 49 delivered by Stroman as he works here in the third inning with nobody out. Bringing in Nolan Arenado. Upright open stance from the right side. The pitch, a swing and a miss. Strike three. Got him with a fastball. Here comes the payoff pitch. Hit in the air, deep left, hat angling toward the line, and he makes a running catch. Nice play by Ian out in left. That ends the top of the third. Marcus Stroman could use a quick, efficient inning here. He's worked awfully hard. Fourth inning, one nothing. St. Louis. Tyler O'Neill up for the second time. Little flare down the right field line. That's going to drop for a hit. And O'Neill's on his way to second. Look at him fly around the bags. A bloop double gets the fourth inning started. And yeah, he's smiling about that. He'll take it. Cardinals have put the leadoff man on in three straight innings. Jordan Walker, who struck out his first time. Swing, fly ball, well hit, left. That ball's going, going, gone! Welcome to Wrigley Field, Jordan Walker. It's 3 nothing, St. Louis. And Walker certainly dinged Stroman there for the seventh home run the All-Star pitcher has given up this year. And now it's up to Arenado if the Cardinals are to add to Jordan Walker's two-run homer. Hammered right center field. That ball is deep. That ball is going to be off the base of the wall. One run scores. Here comes Goldie. He's going to score standing up. Arenado is sizzling hot. 
and the Cardinals lead it 5-0. Well, go ahead and add to that total we showed you a minute ago. Make it 74 driven in for Nolan Arenado and does so the other way with authority. A sinker trying to go down with it ends up missing up and Nolan stays right on it. I think David Ross is coming to get him. Well, for Strowman, it was a tough outing from the jump. Didn't get defensive help and then wasn't quite as sharp as we've seen. Last of the fourth here at Wrigley. Cubs playing catch up down five to nothing to St. Louis. A is Suzuki at the plate. Suzuki pops this one up. And does Gorman see it? Does anybody oh. see it? Nobody sees it. Wow. I don't know that I have ever seen that many defensive players on a field with their palms up and nobody saw it. Say it's magic. Yeah, you can tell. Holy cow. With two outs here in the fourth inning, Cubs could use some points. Hit a long ball against Match, you might be able to get him a little uncomfortable on the bump. The 1 1 is lofted into right, coming in Walker. It bounces past him, coming in to score Suzuki. It'll roll all the way to the track. Gomes around second, he's headed for third. Here comes the throw. Nowhere near in time, a stand up RBI triple for Jan Gomes. Now just a little looper off the bat of Gomes. This ball's not hit very hard. Walker comes in and really didn't have much of a play. He slides for this ball and comes up short by a good three or four feet. And he's aboard with one out. Here's DeYoung. Wind still howling toward the right field corner. This one driven toward right. Suzuki going back toward the well. That ball is into the basket. DeYoung hits a two run homer the other way. He hit it hard mother nature did the rest. Well, Chip you were talking earlier about all the success that Paul DeYoung has had at this ballpark and it continues here. He gets a cutter middle away from Rucker and getting this thing into the basket and right. St. Louis with a 7-1 lead over the Cubs. Jan Gomes will leap things off. Fly ball hit to deep right field. Newt Bar going back at the track. Looks up. It bounces off the netting. On his way to second, Gomes. He's headed for third. It's going to be his second triple of the night. What a night for Jan Gomes. Speed kills. <laughs> Here in the last of the seventh inning, Gomes at third base. Bouncing ball hit to short. He is fielded by DeYoung. The throw to first in time to get Morrell. It's now 7-2. Patrick has had a tough night, 0 for 2, and he's made a couple of errors. 7-2 Cardinals with a one away here in the seventh. Oh! And the pitch hits Wisdom in the helmet. Wisdom down on his knees. The helmet goes flying off. Trainer Nick Frangella racing out of the Cubs third base dugout to look at Wisdom. He picks up the helmet and is walking to first base on his own. And Wisdom, after a long conversation with trainer Nick Frangella and manager David Ross, is going to stay in the game. But maybe it's one of those nights here at Wrigley Field. The bases are loaded for the Cubs with two away here in the last of the seven. The 1-1 delivery to Suzuki is hit towards left field, and that's going to be handled by the Cardinal left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. So JoJo Romero gets the job done again. Only one run scores, and we can all breathe now. And Seiya Suzuki will stride to the plate. Suzuki hit that crazy twilight double and scored the first Cubs run. Popped up. Burleson at the first base bag. Foul ground has it. And that'll take care of business. The Cardinals have beaten the Cubs 7 2, your final score. Alec in this league, you only need three outs. Extra credit, it carries over. It's fine. He did a great job. This is a well pitched ball game. Steven Matz, his first win of the season.